Welcome to XXLRC. Today, we're doing another custom RC body. What I've got is this Chevy Silverado body. Proline body, the number is 3430, Silverado 1500. Now, this was made for, I believe, a, 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 not an X-Max, an E-Max, if you guys remember that, which Traxxas no longer makes. I think they discontinued that around the time that the Max came out, maybe a little bit after that. I've had this body laying around for a while. I don't know, you can see how much dust is on it. I gotta clean it up before we paint it. I've also gotta trim it too. Um, but it's been sitting around for a while. I had actually bought an Emax and it came with it, but I never used it. I sold the truck, the body stayed, and now I've got another project that's been sitting on my shelf for also quite a while <laughs> that I wanna use that body on. Previously, I did a video featuring the Dawn power wash paint uh, method where you spray that Dawn power wash foaming soap as kind of a mask. Then you spray your paint and then you wash away the soap and it creates a, a really cool effect. I wanna do something similar on this one, but we're not gonna use the spray foam soap. We're gonna use regular dish soap. But before we can do that, I've got to uh, trim everything out on this. I'm not gonna show all that if you guys are interested. I have another video that I did a while back on how to trim up an RC car body, so you can check that out. Uh, but you will need some scissors like this. These are curved, these ones are straight. Those are very helpful, those are made just for doing Lexan. And then if your truck has body posts, you'll need one of these guys, or I guess you could use a drill, but this makes it much easier. But enough about that. If you wanna see more in depth on how to get that done, let's go check out that other video. I'm gonna to get to work cutting this out. I'll clean this thing up, and when I come back, we'll get to painting. Most of these clear Lexan bodies will come with this, but there's just a little, uh, information card in there sticker sheet there's a sheet in here which is actually a window mask for now i'm just going to stick these on so we don't get any paint where the windows go got the windows all masked off. They're not 100% perfect, but they're pretty good. This one in the back was the hardest. Stuck it and peeled it off about 12 times, but I think it's pretty good now. Let's talk about colors and why I'm not real concerned about these window masks. I just got this stuff from the local hobby shop and never used it before. Spastics brand. So we'll see how that goes, but this is a high gloss black. So that's gonna be our base color. For the design colors, we're gonna go back to that last video that I did with the dish soap. And we're gonna use all these fluorescent paints to fill in the areas that are masked off with the soap. So that's that. And then to back these, I picked up this solid white. See, it's made for color or fluorescent backer. And then the final coat on the very bottom will be this ultimate black backer. We're gonna mix the Traxxas and the Spastics. I think it'll be just fine. We've got our body that's all clean and prepped and dry. We've got the masks on. And what we're gonna use as a masking agent for this paint job is this Radiance dish soap that I got from Aldi. You can use any dish soap you feel like. All I'm gonna do is just Kind of make a pattern, doesn't really matter which way you go. We just want to mask off some areas where we aren't going to see black. I think that's good. Got our high gloss black. Shook it up pretty good already. I'll give it some more shakes. And then we're just going to spray this on. got a good coating of paint so now I'm just gonna spray it out do a nice just gentle mist nothing crazy just want to rinse the soap off I don't want to blast the paint off of there now you can see the design that we made with the soap is showing through that black paint 
So I'm gonna let this thing dry and then we'll get to the color paint. I've let this sit for probably 20, 30 minutes. It's nice and dry in there. The paint's just a little bit tacky, but that's okay because we're gonna be doing our next coat. For that, I've got all the fluorescent colors, Traxxas, Prographics paints. I'm just gonna do little splotches of color that kind of overlap. Call the Calico paint job. Give it a little test spray. It's been a while since I use them. And then we'll just get started. Let's flip it over and see how we did. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. So I do see some areas that are still pretty thin. You can see my hand right through there. Let this dry for about five minutes. Come back and do a little touch up there. Then we can move on to our white. This thing has turned out amazing. This is awesome. Look at how vibrant these colors are up against the black. I went ahead and I already did the second coat. Now we're ready to do our white backer because if we do a black backer on this, all these colors will just turn dark. And I've done that before. It's a mistake, don't do it. If you're doing light colors like this, back it with white so they stay light colors otherwise they'll just turn dark because they're they're a little translucent you know you can kind of see through them we got our two coats of white background there i went ahead and pulled the the masks off the windows as you can see you can see right through them and we're just going to do our final coats of high gloss black on there our two coats of black on the bottom it looks amazing in there i think i really like the spastics paint turned out really nice it has a really nice smooth finish there are a couple rough areas but overall pretty good and look at how amazing the colors look on this thing i'm just ecstatic with how this turned out it is so cool they do still look a little dull and you can see some there's some overspray there but when they make these bodies it comes with protective film on it so I'm going to peel that off and all this stuff will go away because it, it covers every inch of the outside of this body just for that reason. And I don't know what it was, if the white just shows up more or if it just flies around a lot more, but it really, I have a big white spot out in the yard there now <laughs> from, from doing that. So I'm going to get this thing peeled and then I've also got 
the sticker sheet that we talked about earlier. It's got the headlights, fog lights, you know, little bumper piece, uh, the grill, tail light, door handles, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and stick those on as well. And then we'll see what our final product look like. Oh man, it looks so good. Holy cow, this is amazing. I ran into a little snag with these. Apparently, <laughs> these are not cut out. So I'm gonna have to cut these out with an X-Acto knife or something. I went to peel off the grill piece and there's no edge there. And then I just peeled up the corner of this and yeah, it's all one piece. They're not cut out individually. So, gonna have to do that before I can apply them on the truck. All I ever wanted was you, but you left me alone inside these empty broken walls. And I can't see it clearly, but it's obvious I know that you left wrapped up on our custom paint job that wasn't too bad this thing looks awesome i'm so happy with it i really like that spastics paint that was the first time i ever used it but it looks quality especially this high gloss black it really dressed up the inside finish it off nice i got all the stickers on there and it looks amazing i want to thank you guys for tuning in if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything i'll see you guys in the next video